Hey guys, welcome to another uh, Back to Basics. Uh, for, this, for this one, we're going to be looking at our wonderful op amps again. We'll be checking out two of them since earlier in earlier videos, we checked out the, uh, oh, basically how to multiply and divide essentially by using a non-inverting or inverting uh, op amp configuration. You basically get a multiplier and you can make that either multiplied by whole numbers and above, or you can make it by lower numbers that are less than one to basically effectively divide numbers that are being input. So if you haven't checked out those videos, I recommend you check out, check them out first. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and continue on. This will be kind of a continuation video of all of those. So that way, if you, if you don't understand uh, what, what all we're uh, going on with and how op amps and stuff work, you go check out some of the previous videos in this series and it'll catch you up to speed. For this one, we are going to be looking at some addition and subtraction. So we're going to be looking at the summing. I cannot write. Good grief. Let's try that again. Summing. Okay, we're going to look at the summing configuration on this one, guys. So hopefully this video will be pretty quick. We'll look at summing and difference amplifiers. But for the summer, basically what it's going to do is you're going to take multiple voltages that you are from your circuit, let's say, that you need to add together and get a resulting voltage from. This is what this op amp is going to do. So here's what it's going to look like. I'm going to have our op amp. Okay. Here, let's, let me do this. Let me clear this on out. Here, let's just go ahead and clear the page. All right, because this is going to take a little bit of space to draw this all out nice and big and where we can all see it. So we're going to have our normal op amp with our normal feedback resistor coming in here. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over. Let's move this over here. Okay, so that's our output. Go back to our pin. So now we're going to take our, our positive side because this is going to be basically like an inverting configuration, essentially. But what we're going to do now is we're going to have our resistor, but then we're also going to have other multiple resistors, and this is all there is to it. I'm going to put the three dots and then another resistor. Okay, so we're going to have a V1, a V2, you know, and a V sub N, meaning you know it's you know however many you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or however many you want. Okay, same thing with this. We're going to have basically an R1, you know, and then we're going to have the R2, so on and so forth. And this one's going to be our R sub N, which means, you know, it's the last one that you put together. So you can sum a whole number of signals up, 5, 6, 7, 8, however many you want. And what will happen is on our V out over here, our V out will be the summation of all of those pieces. Multiply, this is what's kind of cool, is it's kind of like putting a... a, a multiplication on it too kind of like you know, like I said it's like the uh, an inverting op amp so you've got let's see if I can draw the squiggly f eh close enough um that's the uh feedback resistor so that'll be basically your multiplier so the equation for this bad boy let's see I don't know if I can fit it all on here let's see if I can shift gears and see if I can move this up eh, move this up like that Maybe I can write the equation in. So how the equation for this guy is going to go is quite simple. It's going to be our V out. Okay. It's going to equal. And each one gets basically the feedback resistor in, you know, coupling in with it. It's basically a little miniature uh, inverting op amp that is going to uh, be summed together at the end. So we've got our negative because it's an inverting configuration. You're going to have your R feedback over your R1 times your V1 plus the R feedback over R2 times your V2 plus your whoops let's see if I can move this around here let's see if we can't get this all on the same page shall we let's scoot this over here get our equals and then we're going to say this is our V or our R feedback my bad going to be our R feedback. Wow, that's huge. Let's make that smaller. R feedback over our R sub N 
times our V sub N. Ooh, can we get it all to fit? I think we can get it all to fit. Let me, whoa, hey, hey, hey. Getting all crazy on me there, whoops. Go this way with it. I'll scoot over a little bit. There we go, I think we can get it all in. Close the parenthesis, there we go. All right, we did it, we did it, folks. All right, so essentially you have your, it's basically little miniature uh, inverting op amps, right? Um, we've got our, the first one is you take and you basically build a multiplier with this first piece with the feedback resistor. And like I said, if you want this to just literally sum the voltages together, you just make sure, uh, set your feedback resistor is like one kilo ohm. And then every one of these R1, R2, and your last one, set them all as one kilo ohm. That way you'll have one over one and you won't multiply by anything. And then you will effectively just sum your V1, V2 all the way up to whichever one you want, you'll sum them together. So it's the same idea, except it's just kind of simplified and put all together. But that's basically a summing configuration. It's pretty straightforward. You just put all your signals in and it just adds them all up and then you can weight them. And that's another name for this one. This one is the weighted summer is what it can be called. Um, I think you can just do a summer. I don't even think you have to put resistors in, come to think of it. Um, you can do it just like a voltage follower um, and just put nothing in the feedback, put nothing here, just connect everything straight up, and it should sum them all together. I can't, can't remember if that's true or not. I'd have to look at, look at it again, but I believe that you can do that too if you just want it to just sum it. But if you want a weighted summer, is what it's called, um, you can take it and put the resistors in there and then scale your resistors to whatever you want. You put your feedback resistor in and then you uh, size uh, your input resistors based off of what kind of... Uh, uh, division you want to go on here. So pretty, pretty cool. So guys, that's basically it. I'm going to try to keep these videos shorter um, since I've been kind of going long on these. So I think that's what way we're going to do it. Uh, I want to just give a quick announcement. Um, I know it's, I, uh, it needs to be quick. I normally ramble on for a while, but I'm going to try to make it quick. Uh, the uh, announcement that I'm going to do is uh, it's we're coming up on the 4th of July. Um, I'll see if I can get with you guys. I usually do um, kind of a big deal at my house uh, for my family and whatnot. Um, so I may be a little non-existent <clears throat> for a couple of weeks or so as we come uh, up on that uh, since it's coming up. And uh, also afterwards because there's some cleanup that has to happen and whatnot uh, for the 4th of July celebration that we do. So I may or may not be around, but I'm telling you what, it's coming. I have put together the board uh, for the Bluetooth module. I think I may go ahead and do another video on how to scribe your own board, because that board's gonna be very, very simple to, uh, to do. So I may go ahead and film the whole etching of that board and everything, so that way you guys can see it again, just in case those of you that might have missed it, or at least you know the video's gotten lost in translation. It should be on the USB uh, video when I show how to make a USB to serial converter. Um, I show how to scribe boards and whatnot on that, but I may go ahead and do it again just because we can. I've got a camera and, you know, why not? Might as well take you guys along with me. So anyway, guys, that should be pretty much it. Uh, happy 4th of July. If I don't get to tell you, uh, please subscribe to me on Twitter and uh, or follow me, I guess is what it's called. Follow me on Twitter, uh, like, subscribe, share here as well. I, I'm just amazed at the turnout. We're, we're even up to, I think, 2,050 subscribers, and it's only been you know a couple of weeks since we hit 2,000. So keep the subscriptions coming. Keep the comments coming. I enjoy reading every single one of them. I try to get back to you as fast as I possibly can. Um, it's been fantastic. I've also got some uh, product reviews coming up that I think I'm going to uh, throw in here to show you guys some neat little uh, already made um, kind of like kitted devices that you can uh, work with and play with and different websites to get those from uh, that you can add to your projects and whatnot that makes life simpler so you don't have to scribe the boards or anything. They're just already pre-made and they are very reasonably priced. So I'm going to be reviewing a few of those. Uh, so look for those videos. And uh, yeah, I think that's probably going to be it, guys. So take care. Keep coding, keep building electronics because there's so much fun to be had in it and that's what it's all about. So take care guys and with that, that ought to do it. See you next time.